my daughter with that. This all I can do, you know. I couldn't go to the Lyons County High School game the other night because the, the, the superintendent and the sheriff banned me from the school. So now, we must ask a question. Why is it that things are so one-sided here in the state of Georgia? And why is it that it's taken so long? And why is it that they gotta investigate so much before attorney Michael Moore can come down and do what ought to been done a long time ago? And now, because they've waited so long, and because of the historic alleged corruption and unreported news, now people are telling me that they are questioning Michael Moore's investigation and will it mean any more than the words that we've already heard. But I say to the people, this particular case, along with the many other cases, have gotten so deep now that I don't even know that Eric Holm of a higher level could calm the tension in the white cloud that's over this community. This community, this community have already lost confidence in those in law enforcement, those in the Southern judiciary, including the judges. And so, when that happened in a so-called civilized society that is crooked, we can't get them to stand up straight. And when you do stand up straight, they make you look crooked. When you, as a retired military veteran, stand up for what's right, they make you look like you the one that's crooked, when they are the one that's crooked. But because of the deep fear in Valdosta, many citizens will not speak because they live in fear. But I am determined that sooner or later, God's word will be revealed, wherein he said, ye shall know the truth, and only the truth is going to set you free. And so, you're going to see in the next few videos, raw talk, nothing but raw talk, because it is indeed time to straighten up and straighten out Valdosta in Lyons County. The ones who are crooked, they know they're crooked. It's just that the people don't have a voice, don't have a media that will tell their story. And because of that, our world has been distorted. And it looks straight to the weak, but to the righteous, we see it as crooked as it is. And the question is, who will be brave enough, courageous enough, upright enough, righteous enough to be able to stand and let the world know that unless we stand up for what is right in God's world, then we are going down the road of destruction and we are going pretty fast. I just come to say to you, there's something wrong in Valdosta and Lyons County. Our world our city is one side, and when will we make it right? This is the Ghetto Free Press, KYRC, which means Know Your Rights Campaign. You have a right to tell your story and not to bottle it up all up on the inside until you end up having a stroke, heart attack, or death. Bye-bye. Yes, yes, yes. It is indeed amazing how any citizen in Valdosta and Lyons County 
could be placed, restricted, without violating any law. Not in Russia, not in China, or some of the third world communist nation, but here in Valdosta, Georgia, home of Moody Air Force Base, a federal installation that I served two tours of duty. And I was a veteran, or rather an active duty military person before I became a veteran. During the Vietnam era and many other conflicts, in my lifetime. Yet, after the death of Kendrick Johnson on January 10th, 2013, just maybe that was the reason why I was banned. So the question remains in the mind of the father Kenneth and his wife Jacqueline and other family members that the death of their son at Lyles County High School was number one according to the sheriff an accident or number two by the father and mother that maybe it's maybe it was a murder or maybe number three, a fight or a homicide. Or number four, many just don't know. But because of the restrictions, the impediments put before that family and this community, questions have arisen about a, an alleged watch or top the crime scene being compromised according to the Lyles County coroner who should indeed know the first responders on the site of where that body was found the EMT said that it was a crime scene the sheriff said it was an accident scene but just maybe because of my small camera reporting what others ignore, that may be the reason why this military veteran on this Veterans Day for 2013 cannot even go to a Lyles County football game. So I have been banned, restricted from all Lyles County on Lyles County School property here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. Yet, no elected official, I'll state again, no elected official in the city, in the county, in the state of Georgia, or in Washington, D.C., have even contacted me. And so when we hear our elected officials say they respect and that they love the military veterans use what has happened to me as justification to say that they are liars and the truth are not in them. For if they care about our men and women in uniform, then they would respond to me an upright citizen in this community. My record is stellar clean. They have nothing about drugs on me, nothing about a DUI, nothing about a traffic violation, nothing about domestic violence, nothing about abusing children, nothing about going on property that I was restricted from. And so this is why I 
will not go on any Lowe's County School property because I have it on record that I am indeed under a valid Lowe's County Sheriff Department criminal trespass warning that is approved by the state of Georgia, although there's no judge, no affidavit, no certified letter, no notarized statement, nothing with my signature of acknowledgement, not even a good verbal outside of Sheriff Thomas on May 25th. And at that time, do you not know that they said that I had already been under that criminal trespass warning for two weeks? Two weeks, and I didn't know nothing about it? That means that if I had gone on Lowes County school property, some Lowes County sheriff deputy or a law enforcement member or the GBI or FBI, hell, I don't know, could have arrested me for violating a criminal trespass warning that I knew absolutely nothing about. Now, some people are saying, get a lawyer, retain a lawyer, and take them to court. Permit me to say this to you. In January of 1971, I went to the federal building in Atlanta, and I took the military test, and I passed it to go in any branch of the armed forces during the Vietnam War, and I was qualified to enlist, to fight, and die for this nation in time of war, and I never, let me repeat, like all other active duty, like all disabled veterans, like all veterans that ever served in the United States Armed Forces to fight both foreign and domestic enemies, let me repeat, they never, they never, they never had to acquire a lawyer to fight for them to go fight and die for this nation. So why should I have to get a lawyer to prove that I am under an unlawful criminal trespass warning for 180 days without any justification or notification? And so if I could fight in Vietnam, if I could fight in Kuwait, if I could fight in Iran, if I could fight in Afghanistan without going to a lawyer to get the right to fight and die for this country, then why do I have to get an attorney to say to Wes Taylor or the Sheriff Department, what in heaven are you doing to citizens' rights here in the United States of America? Do you indeed have a cover-up in the Kendrick Johnson case that you don't want exposed? And it went to the decree of denying me my constitutional rights because you knew that somebody in the capital of Georgia would not support a veteran. Did you know that somebody in Eric, Eric Holden's office, the secretary of the Justice Department would not come against you. Did you know that the Lyle County Sheriff Prime would not go against you, but they would fight against a military veteran that served his nation with commendation medals and other service medals, but you don't care nothing about the common man in the United States of America when it comes down to citizenship rights. And so I'm going to continue to say on behalf of the veterans, the active duty and common citizens, that our Constitution should mean more than just black ink on white paper. We must stand up and say to the government, because if they have done it to me, and they have, then ask yourself a question.
How many of our young children are now in jail and prisons under a criminal trespass warning that somebody say they violated and they didn't know nothing about it? Listen, I'm sure that I'm not the first one, but I am the, maybe the last one because I'm not going to stop because if I could die again in Vietnam, if I was willing to die in Kuwait, if I was willing to die in Afghanistan, and if I'm willing to die wherever my commanding officer called me to go fight, then should I not fight here in the homeland of the United States of America? Superintendent Wes Taylor said to my friend who went to the superintendent because he's not restricted. And he asked West Hill, what do you have on George Boston Ryan? He said, I did not file a criminal trespass warning against George Boston Ryan. Yet on the radio, I have the Lowndes County Sheriff radio through Sheriff Deputy Thomas radio saying on to the world, and I got it posted on YouTube, that West Taylor of the Lyons County High School issued and restricted me from this property. That is a matter of record. And when I went to Sheriff Prime, he said, I don't know of any criminal trespass warning against you, but I will check in the record and I will find out. And if it is, I will get back with you. 180 days have passed and the sheriff having said nothing to this black man, have said nothing to this black veteran, said nothing to this black father, said nothing to this 14-year-old business owner in this community, said nothing to this black former president of the NAACP and other civil rights and women's rights organizations. Yet, they boldly do what they want and we are supposed to suck it up. But thank God for people like Kendrick Johnson and his wife and his family who are questioning the GBI and the federal government, including Michael Moore's office. Because if he don't get justice and if he don't do a thorough investigation, only God knows, listen, only God knows what could happen in Valdosta and Lowndes County because people are tired and they are sick and tired of being tired. We have 31 jail deaths from 94 to 2009 and it seemed like that's a cover up. And from 2009 to 2013, nobody's talking about it. That too seemed to be a cover up. That too seemed to raise question in terms of why the governor of the state of Georgia, why is it that the Southern Judiciary, why is it that the Honorable Judge Hugh Lawson, who ruled in 97, identified 105 violations in the Lowndes County Jail, but never followed up on his own court order. At that time, only three inmates had died. And since then, nothing has been done. And it seemed like the people in Valdosta and Lowndes County don't give a heaven don't give a heaven. Look, I haven't finished yet. A 14-year-old middle school student, female, black, at Pine Grove Middle School was tackled by a sheriff deputy, weighed over 200 and some pounds. This mother and father's daughter didn't weigh 100 pounds and yet handcuffed, charged with hitting or striking an educator. The educators gave letters stating that it never happened. Then when they went to juvenile court before the judges, they lost the case. And now they too are saying there is something very, very wrong in Valdosta and Lyons County, Georgia. Now I know that people don't want us to talk like this, but at some time we got to say to the world that if we are not concerned about freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of the press, and did you not know that after 180 days, no South Georgia news media care enough about citizenship rights or about my constitutional rights. The Valdosta Daily Times, uh, Kay Harris, I repeat, the Valdosta Daily Times 
Valdos, the only daily newspaper, the editor, K. Harris, the Honorable K. Harris, have never published this in the Valdosta Daily Times. All the television stations, not one, have said anything about my criminal trespass warning. That is a violation of my constitutional rights. And so on Veterans Day, I want to give you the truth and the highlight of the day. That 14-year-old girl gave her case, her mother did, to all television stations, to all the newspapers, to Kay Harris, and nothing has been reported to the general public. And so they don't know nothing about it. And so now that KJ death is bringing truthful light and truthful venom on this area, they are mad and they are criticizing Victor Blackwell of CNN. But if Victor Blackwell had not come into Valdosta, Lowndes County, and South Georgia, KJ's death would have just been another Negro dead, like the many hundreds of others that are being covered up, swept under the rug. And the Justice Department, Eric Holder, he get our videos, he get our tapes, including those from the Quitman 10, and they do absolutely nothing. They do absolutely nothing. The news media failed to report it. No 60 minutes, no 48 hours, no dateline, not even your line. Not 2020. Nobody will report our news. And so they keep making fools out of us to fight these heavenly wars while we, they are taking advantage of us. We have chemtrails being sprayed in our atmosphere. And that too is a cover up. Why don't they tell the American people about the chemtrail and the aluminum that we breathe in, taking into our lungs, going to, into our veins, going into our heart, going into our brain, from which all time is said to constantly come from. But they won't even tell you about that. And so they make KJ parents seem like they're crazy when they say there's a cover-up in their son's death. Well, there was a cover-up back in 1918. And let me close. Let me close on this Veterans Day. I just want to say to you, if we don't wake up in this country, what happened to me is going to soon be happening to you and your children. You can call me crazy. You can strike out at me. And you can make it hard for me to get a job if I wanted one. But there's one thing you cannot do. You cannot alter St. Luke, St. John 832. Ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall set and make you free. Now, this is an open challenge to any of the names that I've called, to any of the law enforcement agencies that I've called. If you can refute, if you can disapprove anything that I said, and one thing that I did not say, I'm going to say now, if you can disapprove me about the taser death on May 8, 2010, that a former inmate looked under the door and saw they tased this man, and he died, and nothing was published, nothing is said about it. Judge Turner, the clerk of the court, was notified about it, and they never said nothing. And I have asked the sheriff's department two or three times about that death, and the sheriff said absolutely nothing. So now, just maybe, what God said will, made, will be made a reality. And that is, heaven and earth would pass away. But my word of truth will stand forever. What I have spoken cannot be returned to God without God dealing with the truth that I've spoken and the truth that others have spoken. But the news media wouldn't report it, and our elected officials didn't care. But there's a new day among us, and I believe that it all going to come out, and it all going to come out behind what happened here at Lowndes County High School when they denied me the right of my freedom of movement. And they denied the Kendrick Johnson family the right to even view the death and the body of their son. It's a new day. It's a new day.
And as you can see, they got a flag. They say, honoring veterans, but they fail to realize that I am a veteran. And they lied on me. The governor of the state of Georgia haven't said boot. Georgia Attorney General haven't said boot. Georgia Secretary of State haven't said boot. Lyons County Sheriff Department haven't said boot. Mayor Gale or the Council nor the Board of Commissioners have said boot. The same thing happened to me could definitely happen to you. And I'm here to say to the world that sooner or later, they can do what they want to me. But sooner or later, God is going to have the, the last word. Look at that, the flag of the United States. I wore that flag on my uniform. I pledged allegiance to that flag. And then they turn around and tell me that you're under a criminal trespass warrant. How sick can we get to the people in Russia, to the people in China, to the people in Iraq, to the people in Iran? What say you? What say you? Do you have a better glimpse of what democracy means now? And look, this just me. There are many other young people that are now serving time in jails and on probation. All I can say to you is, this is the ghetto free prison.